Have you ever thought about using your cryptocurrency to take a loan? We're going to be talking about DeFi. And I don't mean a brand of washing machine. I mean decentralized finance. Decentralized finance is not something that's going to happen in the future. It is here now. People are using it. It is happening in the present right now. Good morning, everybody. We're going to be talking about how to use your cryptocurrency to take a loan. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you want to buy something, but you don't want to sell your crypto? Maybe I have the answer. I'm going to be making a two part video series. Part one, we're going to talk about the theory and I'm going to explain to you what is possible. And then in part two, we're going to do the practical. In other words, we're going to actually go and make the smart contract take the loan and walk through the process. Now, when I say make the smart contract, no need to get nervous. There's going to be no coding. It is a very, very simple process. And I'm sure if anyone points you in that direction, you can easily do it. There's no technical skills really needed. Okay, so MakerDAO is a smart contract, or let's just put the platform this way. They give you DAI. DAI is a stable coin that is one to one with the US dollar. We're not going to go into how it uh, back keeps its value or all of that. But for all you need to know, this video is that one die is worth one US dollar. And if you have 15 Ethereum, they allow you to take a loan of 10 Ethereum. So you have to have your loan backed. Remember, this is not an unsecured loan. If you have no money, you are not able to take a loan in this um, environment. You, this is a collateralized back loan. So in other words, you have to have Ethereum and you can lend out against your Ethereum. Your collateral has to be 150 times the loan. So in other words, you can take out a loan of two thirds of what you have. So if you have 15 Ethereum, you could take out a loan for 10 Ethereum. And that 10 Ethereum would be paid to you in DAI. Now DAI, as I said, is backed one to one to the dollar. So you would get that money, which you could use to buy whatever you wanted. So going back to what I said earlier, you've got cryptocurrencies, you need to buy something or you need money for whatever reason, but you don't want to spend your crypto because you believe it is going to go up in the future. So what you do is you take a loan against your crypto, use that money for whatever you need to use it, and then you are able to pay the loan back and get your crypto back. The beauty and the advantage of this is you get to pay the loan back at today's rate. So in other words, if the price skyrockets, you can get your um, collateral or your Ethereum back at the price that it is now. So that has got massive, massive advantages. Okay, so let's talk about some scenarios and why this would be useful. First scenario, no one can reject your loan because you are taking the loan against a contract. So it doesn't matter if you're underage or if, if there's no reason that your loan can be rejected. It's a simple case of do you have the collateral? Yes, you have the collateral. You may take the loan. No discrimination. Now, what might we do with a loan like that? I'm going to suggest two things and just to sort of spark ideas so that you can start thinking of how this could be valuable. If, for example, you weren't all in on crypto and you were worried that crypto wasn't going to be worth much in the future, you could use this type of loan to hedge yourself. So let's take a scenario where you take a loan against your crypto and you buy gold. If crypto plummets, you would still have the gold. But if crypto went through the roof and the price went high, you would have the gold Plus, you would have the ability to pay for the crypto at the price that you loaned against it. So it might be worth a lot and you only have to pay a little bit to get your collateral back. That could be the first scenario. A second scenario, you might want to have more cryptocurrency. So in other words, just to run through some numbers quickly, let's talk about Ethereum only. If you had 15 Ethereum and you took a loan for 10, you'd essentially have 25 Ethereum because you would still have to pay back to get your 15, but you'd have 25 Ethereum. With the 10 that you've just loaned, you could take another loan and get another six. So you'd have 15, 10 plus six. With that six, you could use that to get another four. Now, I don't suggest this. 
But I do want to highlight that it is a possibility because you could get up to sort of 32 odd Ethereum from an initial 15. Remember, you still have a loan, so you would still have to pay that back. And the only time this would be an advantage, of course, is if the price of Ethereum went through the roof, because you would only have to pay back what you loaned. And the price would be so much higher that you would make potentially a massive, massive profit. So lending money against Ethereum is a massive possibility. And it is super exciting. I just love the idea. So there's so many other things that you could do with this money that you loaned. In other words, if bankers didn't want to give you a loan to buy a car, you could essentially take a loan against your Ethereum, buy the car and pay it back. Or buy a property, take the rent and use the rent to pay it back. The possibilities are endless and DeFi is here right now. Now, at this stage, you can only borrow against Ethereum with a maker DAO. And you can only get paid out in DAI, which is the stablecoin we mentioned. So these options and possibilities will expand in the future. But right now, Ethereum is a very good coin, in my opinion. And DAI is also a very good coin. So just using those two tools is certainly sufficient. In the future, we might be able to use other assets to collateralize our loans. I'm very excited about this. If you guys stay tuned in part two, I'm going to show you how to take a loan with your Ethereum and actually do it step by step in a practical manner. That's it from me. If you like my content, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'm out.